What's up guys, my name is Jace, and let's play Alan Wake. Now, this is an older game, um, I know that. So, me being a, oh, am I? Uh, me being a PlayStation guy, I never actually got to play it. So, got my computer up and running over the summer, and I was just browsing through Steam earlier, and uh, saw it on sale for like three bucks. So I was like, screw it, next series, the room's done. We still have to go back. Um, and mess around with the uh, final puzzles, but I'm not ready for that right now. It's going to take a lot of time and effort to find that, so until I have the time to dedicate that, I feel like we should just start a new game, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So, we're going to play on normal, because we're not pussies, and we're going to see what this game's all about. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. Fair My enough. name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Okay, I can associate with this. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. That's not good. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Oh! A start I'd to seen this. the hitchhiker too late. Oh, to be fair, you shouldn't have been standing in the middle of the road on a bend. Just saying. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <laughs> okay. That's a wee bit creepy. It's gonna be one of those, is it? Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode one. I was in Nightmare. shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Okay, so is the whole game narrated by him as well? Okay, look up at the light. Where is your controls for looking up and down? I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Okay, so we're going to the lighthouse. Um, hmm. Okay. Get to the lighthouse. Narrow bridge. That it looks like it's out. Of course it's out. This the is... bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Okay, collectible thermos picked up. One out of a hundred. Oh boy, it's the feathers from Assassin's Creed all over again. Checkpoint reached. Is that the dude I hit? Wait. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? Oh! You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama. Jeez. You're in this story oh. now, and I'll make you suffer. You're a joke. There would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories, because I'm gonna kill you. So is that like... It's not like your story's already good. Not like they have any artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Okay. Just look at me. Look at your so work. is he one of like my characters? Um, okay. It says missing. Is that me? 
looks like me. Space to jump. Perfect. Checkpoint reached. You missed your deadline! Um, you can dodge Damn. enemy attacks. Or shift to dodge. Oh. You can't stop me! Try it again, dodge the attack. Oh. So the problem is, is I'm already cold again. Good work, successful dodge. I something. realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Oh, okay. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Well, fuck me, said it. Okay. We are running, running, run. There is a lot of crows here. A lot. Uh, fucking spree, dude. The darkness is coming to get you. Okay, who are you? And the bridge is out. Okay. Mr. Wake, it's me. Hey, Stuart, remember? Quickly get inside. There's no time to lose. Okay, okay, I'm getting inside. Oh, no. Um. Stop. Tits McGee. I was trapped. There was no way out. Six point reached. Um, what the fuck? Die, 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 die. Oh, okay. Why is there TVs everywhere? Have you ever considered hearing metal music? Yeah. You would nail it. was a death trap. I had to get out. Um. Get to the lighthouse. Tom the poet. Oh! What the fuck? Holy tit Follow the light. My HP went to like almost zero on that. You were hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Okay. Stay in the safe haven until you're complete. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? Not at no. all. Follow my light. Oh shit. So the light's like reconstructing stuff too? That's really cool. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Okay, I focus it. So basically it's the leech's mansion. Just horror thing. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Jesus. Okay. Now you'll die. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Thank you, God. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was Jeez. taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Of course it was. Okay. You made me this way, and now I'm going to kill you. Oh. Okay. Go, dude. Okay. Tap R to reload faster. Just like frantic reload. Just come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm so used to holding. This is hey, okay. Oh, fuck me. Okay, uh, battery, battery, battery. Okay, um, this is fucking terrifying. This is really scary, actually. Yeah, well, not really. It's a really cool concept for a game, though. Flare guns and flare gun ammo. Very straight to the point with the tutorial, though. I guess what you get for an old game. Just like. Um, okay. One, two, three. Perfect. And now we'll go back one. Oh, did it kill them all? Nice. Okay, so we'll reload the flare gun. And we'll go back. Very right, cool. I can fuck with this. This seems really fun. I think he did. Okay. Checkpoint reached. Excellent. I can keep this up. I doubt that. But I'm just gonna go this way. Because fuck that bag of snakes. Oh, okay. Bring that area, don't go in barrels. I wish I had there was like a button to like click behind me. Oh shit, it's like a right there. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we made it. Alright, so we're in the lighthouse. Nice. Not nice? Sorta of nice? He's here. Well, uh... Alan, wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, like handsome. Matthew McConaughey. We're here. Okay. Welcome to Bright Falls. This is car. Looks like an old like Impala or an old Chevelle or something.
Not our car. Like ours is obviously a sedan. We have this one. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Thank you, folks. Hi. That. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Oh, Deer yeah? Fest is just two weeks away. Deer Fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? We can eat a bunch of deer. You have a lovely wife. Oh. If you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as oh. yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough, Ryan. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Oh, see, that was nice. It was not pushy or anything about it. Hey, honey. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Yeah, friend. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, no Barry, boy. we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Yeah, boy. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Yep, yeah, probably. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. She doesn't like Barry. Hey, dude. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. I want to talk to this dude about his ride. Damn the yuppies. Why are you wearing a military flag jacket? You're Let's see who has the last laughs. Okay. Good day to you too. Jesus. Come on, Slowpoke. You get the full service here. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. How does she know my Yeah, butt's sounds cute? like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. <laughs> yeah, but I got a thing for him. Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's go. All right. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Oh, that's I'd forgotten dropping. there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh. oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. All right. What's Patchy the Pirate over here uh, saying? Try the coffee. Do Just me don't blame a favor, me. Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut. Number six in the jukebox. Gonna play you some I coconut. I myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! Hey. Don't be mean. 
You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't that. think Get I won't stuck. murder yeah. you in your you sleep. You need to give it a good solid whack. What the fuck's in the coffee here? Jesus yes, Christ. That's my favorite tune. Coconut. Shut your mouth, you demented has been. By Get slapping the jukebox. Shut okay. It for you. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Dante would be impressed. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. <laughs> Perfect. The fuck are you doing? I hope I don't get copyright infringed for this. Okay, copper. What you got? Nothing? Okay. Wait, so I'm going to bug the dude in the washroom? That's... Oof. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky. To get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Oh. Okay. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. A widower? And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Um... No thanks? Go ahead and crawl Cauldron back. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Feel free to climb back in your coffin, lady. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells up like a. The Andersons. They're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. What the fuck is going on? Bye, Mr. Wake. Bye, Rose. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. Perfect. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Keys for what? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Clearly we're driving the fucking car. Can you believe car. this place? Yeah, he's this got the keys to the cabin. For a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF Heaven. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Oh, boy. Okay, perfect. Game where darkness is the enemy and not a fucking power line in sight. Perfect. Wow, it's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know, I'm okay. Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Oh, that's sad. 
well, not sad, but like sweet that he's just like, no, oh, I want to make sure she's not scared, which is really cute. Okay, quick, open the door. Come on, here we go. Quick, Let's quick, take a quick, look quick, inside. Quick. It's dark it takes in a there. lot of we tries to get the fucking key. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Get the power on. Well, usually. I love how it like Hello? sounds like it's burning. Anyone shit. here? Okay. Generator out back. Turn on the radio, why not? Your fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later. Well, at least he didn't say my name. I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? The power cable goes to that shed over there. Perfect. Shit on of crows everywhere. What's that? The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Hmm. At the door? Well, it kind of looks like a door. Oh, that's the door. Found the door. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Perfect. Ooh. Okay, just saying, if the fuel tank on anything is rattling around that badly, don't use it. That's a fucking fire hazard. Jesus. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Nope. Oh. Cutscene. Cutscene. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. No, they're cute. I thought we could be happy here. You having like marital strains due to your work. When focus is played on the screen, you could focus on. Alice had told me about Calden Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel. But these days, it was no longer open to the public. Hmm. That's creepy. Is there a lighthouse? Hmm. Okay. Let's see the wife. Cool. No, can't do nothing with that. Can we chop some wood? Make a fire? Nope. Can't do nothing with that. Okay. So we're just gonna go on over here. And... Alice? Honey? Is she upstairs? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for Ooh. you. Is it lingerie? Are those her pants? I like where this is going. Oh, hello. Well... Hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Oh shit. Surprise. Typewriter. Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice, you everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh, it's dark. Uh. 
That was kind of off the handle, dude. Damn it. <sighs> Alice? Alice? Okay. Hero time. Alice! The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. I'm coming. coming. It's all right. I'm coming. No, Alan, help me! What the hell? Bird leg cannon. Hey, hey. It's good. It's good. Honey. Stay away from me. Is she the one that's crazy? Jump right in, you freaking dirt. Oh. Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? What? Uh. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. What the hell? What's going on? Well, that's a precarious perch. A very precarious perch. Um, need to examine. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Fair enough. Um, alright, so... On that note, um... I'm gonna leave these things here. Uh, it's been about half an hour. I'm gonna keep these episodes to about half an hour. And, uh... We're going to double deeper and deeper into the nightmare. So, thank you so much for watching. Support the game on Steam if you can. Like I said, it's on sale right now. Like, comment, and subscribe if you can. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.